Good afternoon. Uh, in this video, I briefly want to explain again what Lordship Salvation is and what it isn't. Now, what uh, Brian Dellinger is doing is uh, simply putting up a straw man argument denying that he teaches Lordship Salvation by actually denying what it is and uh, claiming that the Lordship Salvation means you've got to clean up your life uh, before you get saved. Lordship Salvation doesn't say that at all. And uh, so he's basically put up a smoke screen in order to hide what he's really teaching, which is Lordship Salvation. Uh, and he, doesn't, he can say what's not in the Bible and therefore he's not going to use it. But a lot of things not in the Bible, like uh, Jesuits and uh, Catholicism and uh, Calvinism. But we use those terms. Uh, the fact of the matter is, is that uh, his claim that the Lordship Salvation means you've got to clean up your life and that you have to, uh, uh, you know, be sinless before you get saved. That is not what uh, is, is that a nonsense, and he's doing that in order to put a false view out to hide what he really teaches, and it's simply uh, the fact that uh, he is teaching a changed life after salvation is ne a necessity. And uh, here again is the uh, uh, the uh, definition of lordship salvation. Uh, I believe I gave another video. I'm going to give it again. Um, it says here. Uh, the Lordship view exp uh, expressly states the necessity of acknowledging Christ as the Lord and Master of one's life in the act of receiving, at, receiving him as Savior. Uh, there are not two different sequential acts or successive steps, but rather one act of pure trusting faith. In other words, they deny the idea of the sanctification, that is, uh, first is faith in Christ as, as, uh, in his death, burial, and resurrection, and you're saved, and then the walk, his discipleship, comes next. They look at it as one whole. That's what he's teaching. That's what Brian is teaching. Uh, which uh, P. Uh, Bletcher identifies Lordship Salvation as that which believes truth saving faith includes in it a submission to the Lordship of Christ. And that's what they're trying to point these guys, uh, like Brian is doing, trying to point out the issue of repentance of sins, solve for sins, this type of thing, turn from your sins. They want you to change your life. That it means if you're saved, you're really going to change your life uh, after you're saved. And again, that's a different issue in the. Uh, in the Christian uh, uh, salvation event. Thus the central tenet of, Lord, tenet of Lordship Salvation is that is that submission of one's life to Christ uh, as master is the only true expression of saving faith. And that's what he's teaching. He's teaching that you will live a changed life after you're saved. And again, that is not the issue at the gospel. The gospel, the point of the gospel to cross is getting your eternal destination changed and then, of course, the Holy Spirit comes in you, and then you, you begin dealing with your walk and your growth, which are separate issues, and your submission to Christ, uh, and your, uh, uh, these things of, of growing in grace come after you're saved. And you, you can reject that, you can resist it, you can fight against it, and uh, you can uh, go to a point where you can actually uh, you, uh, get in such judgment that you'll forget your, yourself you're a Christian. And um, uh, come to a point where you can resist to the, even to the point of the sin of the death. Uh, and that's, that's the issue of uh, the two natures and the uh, rejection of your Christian walk. But that has nothing to do with salvation. And that's what Brian is teaching. First, he wants to deny what Lordship, Lordship salvation is. So he can avoid, uh, he has to have to actually deal with the fact that he is teaching it. Amen. Thank you.